Hi everybody, in this lesson we'll be looking at human and animal remains in the city of Herculaneum. Now, human remains have been found and other organic material has been found in Herculaneum and Pompeii, but Pompeii is a bit different because it has the plaster casts. And Herculaneum has more skeletal remains. And these are important because we can learn so much from studying them. And that's what we will be looking at in this lesson. Skeletons were not uncovered in Herculaneum until 1980. In 1980, excavations of the drainage system of the suburban baths unearthed dozens of intact skeletons. The people were huddled together in the vaulted chambers that once would have housed boats and fishing tackle. So I'm sure you can imagine thousands of years ago when the volcano was erupting, most people would have got out. Most people would have escaped from Pompeii and escaped from Herculaneum. The whole eruption process took 18 hours. So those who could would have got out and they had a lot of opportunities. But not everyone managed to escape and some people just made the mistake of trying to hide in the house. What happened in this instance in Herculaneum is you had a bunch of people who went to the sea, because remember, Herculaneum was right next to the sea. So they went to the sea and they huddled together in a boathouse. And that's where they died and that's how we got their remains. So they were fleeing to escape from the eruption, but they ended up staying there for the last 2,000 years. They got trapped and died there. Nearby, an overturned boat was found with a skeleton lying near an oar. So there's been a, a few different skeletons that were found. Skeletal remains from ancient Rome are rare because the Romans cremated their dead. So to archaeologists, the remains are a treasure. Dr. Sarah Bissell is an American archaeologist and physical ant anthropologist. She was sponsored by the National Geographic Society to examine the skeletons found at Herculaneum. And she made some very interesting discoveries, which we can all learn from. A study of 36 skeletons found that the men were about 169 centimetres tall. The women were 155 centimetres tall. Their teeth were in excellent condition. This suggests that they did not have much sugar in their diet. So they're reasonably healthy. We get an idea of how tall they are and they seem to be in fairly good condition. The adults were in good health and they led active lives. Only four showed signs of arthritis. The five who showed inj injury had received medical attention. So this once again gives us a really good insight into the lives of the ancient Romans who lived 2000 years ago. They were receiving medical attention. They had doctors. And if they had some sort of illness or complaint, they could seek medical help. The precise surgical equipment found at Herculaneum and Pompeii showed the medical knowledge was advanced for the time. So not only do we have the skeletons and the, the indications of their health condition from the bones, we can also see the types of medical equipment that were being used at the time. In the years she spent at Herculaneum, Bissell studied about 139 skeletons. Since 1982, about 300 skeletons have been discovered from the beach and boat chambers at Herculaneum. So we've got a wide variety of different skeletons that we can use, learn from, and we've managed to get a great insight into these people who lived 2000 years ago. And these were living in an ancient Roman city, so it gives us an idea of how all the people in the ancient Roman world lived. That was today's lesson in Herculaneum and ancient human remains. Thank you.